Today, I'm going to be giving you guys five ways that you can save money on bundle purchases here in Rise of Kingdoms. And one way is actually a way that I have gotten hundreds of dollars worth of bundles for free what's going on guys cheers now free gems or discounted bundle purchases have been a hot topic in the rise of kingdoms community in the last few weeks because lilith has been cracking down on people who have been scamming the system people who have been refunding their purchases or they've been making purchases through a third party seller not realizing that that third party seller is completely illegitimate and refunding the purchases on their behalf and many people after i made my video talking about this had commented on that video or reached out to me over on discord saying that lilith has you know taken things away from them they've applied negative items to their inventory they've you know pulled back all the gems and all these things right so i want to make this abundantly clear okay uh, if you're buying gems from a third-party seller it is fake i don't care if your friend did it and it worked for him in six months you're both going to get banned and you're going to come back to this video and say omniarch you were right but the five things we're going to talk about in this video three of which i have already done and one of which like i said you can get bundles um hundreds of dollars worth from my experience for free and we're going to talk about that near the end of the video but before we jump into any of that i have to have a massive disclaimer please do not skip this section okay we are in this video talking about bundle purchases in rise of kingdoms which is micro transactions in a mobile game so if we're looking at where you should spend your money this is very far down the list of priorities okay i don't care how much you love this game it is not worth going into debt for this game it is not worth spending money you don't have it is not worth spending money on this game before you spend money on investing in a 401k or in a stock portfolio or i would rather you even buy bitcoin than buy bundles in rise of kingdoms okay make sure that you get out of debt before you even buy bundles in rise of kingdoms okay again please be financially responsible with spending in this game in the long term okay 10 years from now this game is not going to be something that you're playing okay it's i'm sorry it's just not we will probably not be playing this game in 10 years so anything you spend right now is for temporary enjoyment remember that it is for temporary enjoyment so please spend responsibly i'm begging you literally i'm begging you please okay with that out of the way let's talk about the first way that you can save money on bundle purchases in rise of kingdoms okay the first way is through google play points as you can see here this is rise of kingdoms on the google play store and when you make purchases on the google play store you will accrue points so here you can see that i am getting 1.4 points per dollar there are free ways that you can get Google play points and we'll talk about them later in the video. But for right now, simply by making your purchases through the Google play store, you're going to be gaining points. Not only that, but you're going to get some perks. So here you can see that you can claim free Google play points here. And there's also things like quests and special rates and all these other things and ways that you can get these points for the purchases that you're already making in rise of kingdoms then once you accrue enough points you can redeem them here for credit so if i go back to rise of kingdoms and i go to make a five dollar purchase you'll see here that instead of it charging me five dollars it will simply use my five dollar google play balance which means i can get this bundle for free if i go to buy a 20 dollar bundle then what it will do is it will pull the five dollars from my account and then it will the rest will be charged to my visa card now if you don't have a device that uses the google play store the good news is that you can download blue stacks it's a program for your computer it's free i've mentioned it many times on this channel there's going to be a link in the description below if you want to try it but blue stacks is a way that you can emulate an android operating system on your pc and from there you can you can use the google play store you can use pretty much all of whatever it's like having an android basically but on your computer so that is essentially a free way to gain access to the google play store and start to use these methods now if you play rise of kingdoms on some other platform uh, you can still carry over your progress from that platform to blue stacks simply by making sure that your account is linked in here this is even if you don't do anything else in this video this is important you always want to make sure that your account is linked 
to either your Facebook, your Google, your Google account, or anything like that. Um, it's extremely important in case you lose your device or if your account gets compromised or something like that. Okay. You want to make sure you do that. And then once it's linked, you can transfer your progress in your account to any device that you log into. And that's pretty much it. You can consider this like cash back for purchases that you were already making. And then future purchases will cost less because you'll be using Google Pro play credit that you accumulated over time. Moving on to tip number two, this is one of the ones on the list that I haven't personally used, but I know people in real life and people in game who have done this to great success for years and have never been punished for it. So feel free to give it a try if it's something you're comfortable doing. And that is using a VPN to change your location on your device. So that way you can make purchases in a different country or region with their local currency. And depending on the conversion rate between your currency and the foreign country's currency, most likely you'll be able to make purchases in rise of kingdoms for a lower cost than you would if you were to make the purchases in your own country doing this is not as easy as it seems uh i don't think google likes when you do this so please do this with caution but this shouldn't violate anything on rise of kingdoms end because you're still buying something it's just in a different currency but regardless how this works is that you will have to download a VPN service. I use NordVPN. There will be an affiliate link down below. If you want to use NordVPN, you can use any other VPN software that you're familiar with. You don't have to use this one. This video is not sponsored by them, by the way. You can, again, use ExpressVPN, whatever you want. I don't care. So I live in the United States. So if I change my region to somewhere else, then based on the exchange rate from the US dollar to whatever currency that might be, uh, it may end up being cheaper to buy the bundles in that currency um, than it would be to spend the money here in the United States. Now you have to be very careful because when you change your location uh, on the Google Play Store, you can only do it once every 365 days. Additionally, I believe you need to also add an address from that country and a payment method from that country. So you need to have like a credit or debit card from that country or some other form of payment that is available in that country. So this is a bit trickier. There are videos online on how to do this. Some countries may take PayPal. So you may be able to like log in and use a PayPal account. I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't done this personally, but I know people in real life at many people who have done this. Uh, and by making purchases in other countries, you actually end up saving money. This is the only tip on the list that I would say do at your own risk. Uh, because again, I don't know if Google, I mean, I can't imagine they would want you to do this. Uh, otherwise I probably wouldn't make it so difficult to change your country. So keep that in mind. Moving on to tip number three, we're going to go back to a way on how you can get play points for free. And that is an app called Google opinion rewards. Now, if you guys remember back in the day in like 2012, right? There were all these different programs that would give you points for completing surveys or for downloading apps and then trying them out. I know, I think Swagbucks is what it was called. It was like a browser extension you would put on Chrome. And whenever you would like Google things, you would gain certain like Swagbucks that you can redeem for gift cards and things like that. Uh, Google opinion rewards is Google's official way to do something very similar. So instead of getting points for gift cards, essentially you're just getting Google play credit for completing surveys. And these are things like you're literally just your opinion, right? Um, there are other things on here and this is not a good example. I mean, sometimes you'll get a penny, but other times you'll actually get some Google play points that are worth something. And it's not a lot, right? I'm not saying that you're going to download this app and get hundreds of dollars worth of points for free. That's absolutely not the case, but every single day there will be new opinion rewards that you can do or tasks that you can complete uh, in order to get Google play points. Now, if you go through, um, this is the other one on this list that I personally don't do, but simply for downloading some apps and trying them for a few minutes, you can get Google play points for free. And over time, maybe you can save $5, $10 on a bundle purchase every once in a while, if you're logging in every day and doing a quick survey or whatever the case might be. And overwhelmingly, these are positive reviews. I mean, 2.5 million reviews, and it's mostly five stars. So this is, again, this is a fish from Google. This is Google's own app. So you know that this is reliable. You're not going to get any like viruses or weird stuff downloaded to your phone. Um, this is just a way that Google can sort of uh, get some feedback from their user base and in exchange, give you some play points that you can then redeem for 
actual balance on your account now for those of you who are wondering you know if you are able to accumulate some Google Play points what do I think you should spend them on well if you are able to get a thousand Google Play points then you could redeem it for ten dollars in credit which is enough to get the 30 day gem supply that is probably the most value you can get out of things like this for free so every once in a while getting a free 30 day gem supply is really good I mean that's like 20,000 just over 20,000 gems which is like amazing obviously you have to put in a little bit of work to do those surveys and stuff but that's good um alternatively there is the growth fund which I don't have available on this account anymore because I bought it a very long time ago but that is good value for what it is you can get a ton of gems just by hitting city hall 25 with a ton of rewards along the way that is really high value as well so those are probably the best places you can spend if you're only going to spend just a couple of dollars moving on to tip number four this is actually a bit easier if you're playing on an ios device on an apple device on an iphone or an ipad or something like that but this is also definitely available for you as well if you are playing on a android device google play device whatever the case might be and that is getting gift cards at a discount now this happens a few times a year it's not all the time right but there are some instances where you can actually get just literally gift cards for cheaper so here I'm on a website called thrifter I've never used them before um, but you can find these deals on apps uh, on websites like reddit so for example this is r slash grand order and there are lots of different people playing gotcha games or games with microtransactions like rise of kingdoms or clash of clans clash royale things like that and there's lots of people who spend in these games who are looking for ways to save money and so by being a member of some of these communities there will usually be people who will let you know when there are discounts on itunes gift cards which seem to be more often discounted than google play gift cards but sometimes Google Play gift cards are uh, discounted as well. I know that they do this pretty much every holiday, right? Especially around Black Friday, it's a big thing. Um, but in this case, you would basically go on Amazon, you would go to make a purchase of a $50 iTunes gift card. And if you put in this code app 750, then you would save 15%. Then when you came into the game, you had $50 worth of credit that you could use for only $42.50. So you save 15% is that a ton of money not really unless you are spending thousands of dollars in the game I've also seen discounts on like Costco for example I know that's something that we have here in the United States especially here in New York where you know sometimes they'll have a hundred dollars worth of iTunes gift cards for eighty dollars which is a twenty percent discount and usually if you are somebody who spends a lot in rise of kingdoms I would recommend that when you see these deals you should probably spend uh, as much as you realistically uh, expect to spend right then right so for example the gift cards don't expire so let's say you know you spend a hundred dollars per month in rise of kingdoms well if you can get a hundred dollars worth of gift cards for eighty dollars well then maybe you should buy three of those hundred of uh, those eighty dollar gift cards uh all up front and then use them each month over time and that way you're saving sixty dollars over the course of three months instead of twenty dollars on just the first month but again this is something that you should only do if you have the money to do this please spend responsibly do not buy gift cards with the intent to use them later unless you have the money to do that okay regardless this is something that i have done i have at certain points when i see a good deal on a gift card i will buy it and sometimes i'll buy two or three because i know later on the line i'm going to be spending the money in the game anyway and so i might as well save if i'm going to do that now the fifth thing we're going to talk about in this video is a way that i have gotten hundreds of dollars worth of bundles in rise of kingdoms for free now there's always a catch okay there's always a catch because and this is a good life lesson if you're not paying for a product then you probably are the product and that is the case for social media apps things along those lines we're not going to get into that discussion now but the fifth method that I have used to get bundles for free is through my credit card points if you guys don't know what I'm talking about then essentially the way credit card points work and specifically like chase credit cards that I use and of course I'm not sponsored by chase but hey if you guys want to sponsor me let me know I use a lot of chase cards but the way that credit cards work through chase at least is that when you make purchases they give you points based on that purchase so for example my freedom unlimited card will give me 1.5 percent cash back on my purchases in the form of 
ultimate rewards points and you can see here that i am in the ultimate rewards points portal so here is what you're probably thinking omniarch how is this free if you have to pay money to get the points well there are sign up bonuses for these credit cards oftentimes so essentially if you sign up for the credit card and you get approved for that card meaning they will do a hard credit check okay so keep that in mind if you don't know what that is you should not be signing up for a credit card okay but if you sign up for the card during a period of time where they give you bonus points then let's say they give you twenty thousand bonus points just for getting approved for the card well then you can go ahead and spend those twenty thousand bonus points on for example apple gift cards so app store gift cards or google play gift cards you can even use them for cash back now some cards like the chase sapphire reserve give you a lot of bonus perks right but they have an annual fee however there are some cards like the freedom cards that chase offers that are free it doesn't cost you anything to have that card and so signing up is free now I don't want you guys to sign up for a credit card just to get rise of kingdoms bundles okay you should only sign up for a credit card if it makes sense for you financially to do so and have that hard credit check on your credit report if you don't know anything about credit please look into it before you consider this however I can tell you my story is that a few years ago I was in the market for a new credit card I have a few credit cards now they have zero balance on them okay which is key you want to only do this if you are financially responsible with how you're spending okay uh, but I applied for the cards I got these bonus points you can use them for anything right for example when I flew to Los Angeles from New York in 2019 I flew me and a family member back and forth for free uh, I'm going to Miami in March I'm going back and forth for free because I'm just using my points that I've accumulated over time however in 2020 when the entire world was locked down and I had a bunch of points saved up I didn't know what to do with them and I figured hey I'm playing rise of kingdoms every single day why don't I redeem some of these points for a gift card because then I can get the bundles in the game that I want and I'm not actually spending money I'm just spending points that I've already accumulated and the other point that's you know important to know is that yes you can get points for free by just signing up for the card but if you're just making everyday purchases with your credit card and then paying off that balance in full every single month then you're basically just getting the points for free because those were purchases you were going to make anyway but because you used your credit card you got a reward for it so sometimes you know once a year twice a year I'll look and see how many points I've just accumulated over time by just using my card and if I won I can use it for a gift card or I can use it as cash back to just give me money in my account or I can use it for a flight or whatever I want but in the past I have used this method to get bundles for free and if you guys didn't know that you could use credit card points in this way now you do now I'm gonna have links down below to some of the cards that I personally use and love and they will be affiliate links which is for full transparency it will benefit me if you sign up for the card with my link I do not want you to sign up for the card if it does not make sense financially okay period I, d I don't want that to happen okay if it makes sense for you and you want to support the channel that is an option that you can choose if you decide that you want to sign up without my affiliate link that's perfectly okay as well I seriously do not mind but I'm going to say this one final time because it is very very important and I truly truly feel this way I'm not just saying this please do not sign up for a credit card if it doesn't make sense for you financially if you don't know what to do with a credit card if you never had one please do some research there are tons of really great resources here on YouTube that will teach you all about credit and it's actually really useful for your future to know these things I know there's an account called ask Sebi they, it, incredibly good information it's all free okay these these people are people that I've learned from on YouTube and how I have pretty decent credit right now um for being you know young and and all that stuff so do not go into debt for rise of kingdoms do not open credit cards that you shouldn't do not make purchases that you can't afford and with that being said if you enjoyed this video or you found it useful or entertaining or anything like that make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps the video in the algorithm and it helps get it in front of other rise of kingdoms players if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below any ways that you've used to get discount counts on these bundles anybody in the comment section or my discord that are advertising some sort of refund or cheap third-party service will be banned blocked and reported so please do not waste your time trying to advertise down there 
also do not advertise to sell your account you also will be banned blocked or reported with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni archive we'll talk to you guys again soon peace